Hello, Yin, how are you? <laughs> Sherry here from NFGC. So this is going to be a Yin reading for May. Oh my God, why do I keep saying May 1st? Uh, from April the 24th until May the 3rd. I hope you're all doing well. Um, a reminder, I'm selling my cards. If you'd like to order them, um, please contact me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to do a split elemental. So I'm just going to keep pulling cards until all four positions are filled for the elements and one uh, soul, car soul card. Um, and also, um, if I pull up any chakras, I'll put them separate. Okay, so let's begin. So air, we got a two of swords. In the 3D reality, we have independence. Third eye chakra, the masculine also got that. The ego in the 3D. Masculine also got that. The two of pentacles. The fiery pursuit in spiritual. Deception. The philosopher. The sun. Yin. And transformation. The bottom of the deck for the soul. We have Vibe Tribe. Interesting. So that Vibe Tribe card showed up in the Twin Flame reading. It's like there's this friendship, this bond, this connection uh, that you share with your Twin Flame. This innocence that keeps you together or connected. So you're, you know, this, this, there's this playful energy there. Um that you feel growing inside of you. And so you may be in a playful mood uh, for this coming week, or you may feel like you need your friend, um, someone to connect with. So spiritually, we have the night of fire and the sun, and look at all that power that, you know, the. The night of fire is a directed energy towards a goal, something that you feel passionate about. And what you're moving towards is the sun, which is the most positive card. It's yes, it's, it's birth, it's um, newness, it's excitement, it's you know joy and playing. So spiritually, there is this strong, passionate pursuit towards yes and the sun. So that is amazing. Mentally, we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. And this was uh, also uh, mirroring the Twin Flame reading. Um, the Feminine got this in the present position, not feeling like they can trust. The, you know, we had that mental conv conflict, the Five of Swords. Um, but then we had a movement into this, the calmer waters in the future. So mentally, you feel that you're at a crossroads, you feel stuck, you feel like you can't trust. Okay, and ultimately, this is triggering a transformation. Um, the masculine also got the death card as well, so you're both going through this transformation. But emotionally, you are putting an end to any um, any ties, any luggage, you know, baggage, I should say, any anything that's clinging to you. You're cutting that away. Right, so this deception, this clouded uh, inability to make de decisions, you're working through that and pursuing this beautiful, powerful energy. In 3D reality, we start off with you feeling independent, strong, um, self confident, self love, um, you know even maybe going on vacations or something like that. But then we got the ego kind of standing in the way. This is a chain. So there isn't, um, you know, you start off feeling independent and free, but really there is a chain that's binding you. And you're in the process of starting a new beginning in 3D reality, breaking your chain uh, and sowing your seeds and really truly finding your independence as a philosopher. This is attachment to the 3D reality, um, but feeling 
independent and strong as a result of financial security, whereas this is a philosopher, is the hermit who detaches from the 3D reality, from chains that are binding you from that responsibility and going in search uh, and discovering you know, answers to those deep questions. And what are you discovering is yourself. And that was a, a theme in the Twin Flame reading is, you know, love of self, um, really treating yourself like the, the goddess that you are. Um, so the feminine is in a process of um, finding solitude and aloneness, independence in herself. And the chakra that showed up, again, another synchronicity in the masculine, also got the base chakra with the third eye. So you both are going to be turning within and um, realizing what you need to cut away, um, searching for answers and discovering a powerful truth. Choose the light, choose the sunny side of things. You know, don't let people bring you down. Um, you know, you need to make a decision about this chain and it could be a you know a karmic partner, um, but ultimately, you know who you are, and you know this person is not healthy for you. Okay, so uh, celebrate who you are, celebrate your friends, and choose yes instead of I don't know or no. Okay, so final message. Whoa. Okay, okay. Final message from the universe is tale of mossy gold. Interesting. So that's all about self-image, and that's kind of what I was picking up in the reading. Love yourself. So unkept and unattended, my scales go unmended. And this, in the twin flame reading, it's like you're giving too much of yourself to other things, other people, instead of to yourself. Um, the longer I slog through the mire, sullied and tattered, bedraggled and battered, lacking the care I require, a red-headed mermaid blushes with a chagrin as she exhibits her tail. Once a shiny goal, the tail is now tinged with green swamp moss, visible evidence of personal neglect. The meaning is don't forget to take care of yourself, right? Wow. You have been feeling run down lately, and with good reason, as you have not been listening to your body's natural cues. Now is the time to take care of yourself before things get any worse. Remember the importance of sleep. Too often we think of sleep as an inconvenience, as an intrusion on our busy lives. Take the time to recognize it for what it really is, a wonderful, natural way to restore the body, mind, and soul. And it's interesting, the masculine got the self-love card also, the number one, um, to relax and go to a spa. So you guys are definitely mirroring each other and mirroring the twin flame reading of self-love, love yourself first. So keep your body clean. Make a point of keeping your outside of your body clean through regular showers and hand washing. But how we treat the inside of our body is just as important. An emphasis on whole, natural foods can do wonder for your well-being, as, as can abstaining from dangerous chemicals and potentially harmful controlled substances. Finally, do not forget to exercise. Any amount of physical activity is better than none. And even a few extra steps a day is beneficial to your health. Yeah, again, there's this go out, enjoy life, go to the beach, ride a freaking horse, I don't know. You know, don't be stuck in the mind. Um, cut away that negativity, free yourself, and rediscover who you are. Love yourself. This is the ultimate self-love cards, these two right here. But also, have fun. You can reconnect with your vibe tribe, your girlfriends, whatever. Alright guys, our um, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, subscribe, and please comment. All right, cheers.